Hey everyone, welcome to another video of My True Self, where we are talking about the parts of us that we don't usually like to look at, our shadow, and bringing it into awareness so that we can feel more authentically ourselves and more comfortable and confident in our own skin. So today's video, I want to talk to you about feeling like you don't belong. You know, have you ever been in a situation where you're surrounded by a group of people and you just feel like, I don't really feel like I belong here. I don't feel connected to this. And it, it can drive anxiety where we start to feel like, are, are people recognizing that like, are they seeing me for who I really am and that I don't fit in here? You know, and when we have this feeling of I don't belong or this sense of I'm surrounded by people and it's more stressful than it is calm because the whole time I'm spending in my head thinking are people noticing that I'm different or um, are people thinking that I fit in here or we leave and we kind of feel like I don't feel like myself I don't feel great you know it was more stressful than anything else um, a lot of the time we can end up being in our own company and feel like we don't understand why we're enjoying being in our own company so much we might feel like we're shutting off but really what's happening here is when we're in our own company we tend to be our full authentic self there are no masks there is no worry of like, am i fitting in or are people noticing me and seeing me for who i am it's we can just barriers down. We are fully ourselves in our own company. But yet, if we surround ourselves with people that make us feel different or that we don't connect with, we tend to actually feel quite stressed in that situation and we long for time on our own. And it may feel like we are, you know, spiraling into maybe a bit of depression or isolating ourselves. But really what's happening is that we cannot be truly ourself amongst these people that we have surrounded ourselves with. Or there's an inability to really feel like we can just be ourselves. And it may be that you're surrounding yourself with the wrong type of people. But what tends to happen is we look at ourselves and we think, what's wrong with me? Why am I not fitting in here? And often, and I'll give you a little bit of an insight, is that often you're not the only one in that group feeling that way and it may happen that it's been friendships over you know a long period of time that have shifted and shaped differently and people have you know grown and gone in different ways and along their own journeys and you know you're not always all on the same page you're not connected in the same way that you may have been 10 years ago or you know we it could just be having ended up in a group with friends of friends and like I said you it's likely you're not the only one feeling that way if you have been experiencing this it's likely you're probably thinking that and some other people in that group are feeling the same way but like I said we tend to look at that situation and think what's wrong with me why am I not fitting in and it can feel really really isolating but what I want you to recognize is that when we have that feeling, it's that we're feeling that we cannot just fully be ourselves. We cannot just relax into our authentic self and not worry about having our guard up or having barriers or having a mask on to fit in. And the truth is we don't want to just fit in. We want to be ourselves. We want to be in the company of, of people that, that we feel like we can just let all of that down and be who we are when we're in our own company without the worrying of, of having to put on that mask. So my, my main thing that I want to say to you is that we tend to, when we're feeling that way, we, we, we put it on ourselves and we think there's something wrong with us. There's nothing wrong with you. And so many people experience this, but it's more about, okay, why starting to look at, okay, who are the people that I spend my time with? How does my energy feel, you know, before, after? How do I feel about myself in those situations? 
really getting to know yourself in this process can allow you to work on being more and more yourself and you will find that the people who accept you as that authentic self will come in or stay in your life and those who don't match that frequency will tend to float out of it and it is the natural part of life it doesn't mean that those people won't come back into your life but it's recognizing that we need to stay true to ourselves because when we wear a mask and we shift and change to meet other people's needs we end up feeling unhappy misaligned we feel disconnected with ourselves. so this process is really an opportunity to actually look at okay where's my energy feel best who just who do i feel myself around where does my energy feel not so good when I've been in a certain person or people's company what brings the best out in me what brings the worst out in me so starting to look at yourself and asking those questions which we may normally shy away from can help so much in this process when we can when we feel so alone and we feel like it's our fault or there's something wrong with us there's nothing wrong with you and I guarantee that like I said, so many other people are feeling that way and it's it's a natural part of the journey and finding yourself and finding where you feel at your best and discovering your authentic self. Um, so anyway, if this has been helpful, then great. And if you want to reach out to me and you want to know more or you want to, you know, maybe this has been particularly interesting for you, please let me know. Um, otherwise, have a wonderful day and Feel free to share and, and like as needed.